Okay. So no regrets from Celebrity Big Brother then? No regrets. No regrets. I, you know, right after the show, I thought it, it was a lot of stress and I needed some therapy for a little while. But, you know, after that, I'm, I'm really glad I did. It was a lot of fun. Unlike this show, which, you know, The Masked Singer was, you know, complete opposite. I mean, I went in feeling nervous about doing the songs, but really comfortable in, in, the, in the setup of it and that it was a music show and I could go out and just perform. Would you do the mass Singer all over again if you were asked? And they were me sleep. A hundred percent. That that's I would do that till they got sick of me, but I think you can only do it once. So you would have to like change your voice completely if you wanted to do it again. I wanna I wanna go out on the mass singer tour when they do it. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. What about what advice would you give, you know, like if JC called you and said, hey, I'm thinking of doing this, like, you know, should I do it? Like, what advice would you give him from this whole experience? Why is it? I don't know. Again, uh oh, you froze again. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. There you are. You keep freezing. I'm sorry. I don't know who's. I don't know whose end it's on. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, what advice would you give JC if you guys were gonna, if he he called you and said, "Hey, listen, they contacted me. I'm thinking of doing this." Um, I would just tell him to to go for it because his voice is so amazing and it it needs to be heard again and he needs to be doing something and. And I think this would be a good start. This is, what did you, did you learn anything about yourself from this experience, even though it was shorter lived than you might've liked, like as a singer or just as a person or as a performer? I think, um, I think definitely, you know, it's, it was, it was a great experience. And I learned that I love to challenge myself and I won't say no, because I'm afraid to do something, you know, it's like, no matter what, I, I want to go for it and try it. And whether that was Big Brother, whether that was Mass Singer, you know, it was it was those things that I jumped into and said, you know, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm just going to do it and have fun. It was great. Well, listen, like, I mean, we talked about the Super Bowl when we first started, like, I think one of the best Super Bowl performances ever, like you, you know, and Sync, Britney, Aerosmith. You know, Britney recently, you know, you guys are from that era of music, which is so nostalgic for so many of us. Like Britney recently said, like, you know, that from performing, like during the conservatorship, like she's still traumatized and like she might never perform again. Like just from someone who's performed with her, like, do you think that's really true that Britney will never perform again? Um, I hope not. You know, I, I hope not. She's, I think she still has a bit more to give and you know, she's a great person. And I know she's been through a ton in the last few years and going back even farther than that. But hopefully she has her head on the right way and she can really see through things and, and get back out there and, and do it again. I hope so too. And hold me closer. I don't know if you've listened to that. on Not with her and Elton John. It's, it's great. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And, and just to hear her voice again is awesome. Well, listen, you know, Celebrity Big Brother, The Masked Singer. I mean, is there anything else you want to tell us? Like, might we see you and Joey on Amazing Race one day? Yeah, that's, that's up next. Amazing Race. Um, so you think you can cook. Uh, we're just going to run the gamut now and, and do as much as we possibly can. So. Absolutely. Do you, you know, are, are you working on any new music? You know, I mean, I know you've done a lot of solo stuff in your time. I have not put anything new out in a long time. I'm actually, I've been on tour this year with this Pop 2000 tour and it's been a blast because I can fly out. I go on the weekends. They have shows on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, sometimes four shows, three shows, two shows, one show. And, you know, I can, I can fly out, do the show. Then I'm back here in Nashville to be with my kid and take him to school every day. What's the best thing about being a father? Uh, I think it's, 
when my son sees things in a new way and makes me kind of see things in, the, in that new way too, whereas it's something I've been used to and, and you take for granted, but then when you hear him talk about it, you hear him say something about it, it kind of brings it back to that beginning stage of, oh yeah, that is kind of neat. I never really thought about that or, you know, and just that uh, my wife and I made our best friend, you know, it's like we went to a factory and picked out what we wanted and we got our best friend. So it's been, it's, 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 there's so many things I love about it. Does your son like understand like, you know, what you did and like how you toured the world? Like, does he have that, you know, like, listen, we're all, people are obsessed with celebrity and pop culture. And like you said, like the fans for NSYNC run so deep, like, does he have a full understanding or are you just daddy? He's really, I mean, I'm definitely just daddy, but he's really, starting to develop he's he'll be five in october so he's at that age and he's already been through the experimental um youtube thing where he's like dad i googled all of your videos and he'll watch all the videos all the songs and randomly i'll hear him just singing one of the songs that i'm like where did you even hear that song but he he's definitely started to notice it and, and he'll see if, if we're out and people ask for pictures or, you know, if he comes out to the shows or on tour, you know, he definitely is like, you know, this is a little different than most kids' dads. Absolutely. Well, as we wrap up, like if you could do a duet with anyone, and I've really enjoyed your time on The Mass Singer, love The Hummingbird, but like if you could do a duet with anyone, like who would be at the top of your list? Oh man, there's, there's, there's so many, I mean, there's, there's the duets I would have done growing up, like with the Freddie Mercury's or the Paul McCartney's. And then there's the duets I did in, the, or would do in the heyday of the band, like, you know, anything from like maybe um, uh, Mark McGrath, who's on tour with us now with Sugar Ray. And then, you know, voices now that are just amazing harry styles his new record and everything is just unbelievable and, and what these kids are doing there's there's really there's tons of all over the place that i'd love to do so and f f harry styles stuff is great and final question like do you look at like you look at like a bts i mean like they've just taken this boy band formula yeah. and just it's on acid now like right. are you ever like amazed at like the juggernaut of bts and what it is and like what the boy band of today's day and age has become um definitely you know it's it's very impressive uh what they do for sure you know i think that juggernaut has always been there it's always just changed ideals you know when the new kids were out they were the new kids and it was all about the new kids then it was us and the backstreet boys and 90 degrees so there was kind of 